Beetlejuice, baby. Beetlejuice. Is he the number one whack packer of all time? That's a good question. Is it Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf? Was it Eric the Actor? Everybody has their opinion. I certainly have mine, but as you know, I have to remain impartial. After all, I am the host. The first time I met Beetle, Beetle showed up with a guy. They booked one of the little people on our show, but it wasn't Beat. Beat was just in the green room. My new buddy, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. I just happened to walk by. I looked in the room and I saw Beat there. It was like, you know when the room goes dark and there's just a bright light, a spotlight on a person? I went, this guy's a star. And I brought him in and he was a hit. Seeing Beetlejuice is definitely the highlight of my life. How old are you? Me? I'm 48. Wow. Really? What? I would have thought you were a kid. Is he really 48? No. Yeah. No. You're 48, Beetlejuice? Yeah. Really? You have a young face. <laughs> I think you're going to live a long time. Well, live Aren't you lucky? Of course, the rest is history. We had Beetlejuice on all the time. We could be with the golf club like Tiger Woods. He's got a sleeping bag for some reason. I don't even know is why. Why are you wearing a crown? Because I'm a king, brother. You're the king. I don't think in the history of this show, I ever said to Beetlejuice's manager, Beat can't come in. We're busy. I don't care who was booked. I moved them aside for Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is going to ride a motorcycle in. Oh, God. You didn't hear this? No. And the name Beetlejuice. Up until then, I remember Beetlejuice was the Michael Keaton movie. It was a good movie. Tim Burton directed. But then you hear the name Beetlejuice now, and you're a fan of this show. You don't think about the movies. You think about Beetlejuice. He's one of a kind. He's an icon. He's written songs. He's entertained us with costumes. Here he comes. He's dressed as a monster for, for in honor of the movie You're Evolution. Be sorry you didn't see him before. Look at him. <laughs> a monster with a gangster lean. Yeah. <laughs> they told me Beetlejuice was going to be in the St. Paddy's Day parade, and I expected you to be wearing a great outfit, and you are. You are dressed as Uncle Sam. You look fantastic. Thank you, you. You don't look good. You look great. Thank you. I'm Urkel, dude. Oh, you're Urkel. I said. Beetlejuice, like Madonna, you've always changed your image. You always reinvent yourself. Yeah. If you're wearing a weightlifting belt, your fatigues are open to your belly button. Yeah, he's showing yeah. his chest. He's showing a lot of chest. Is this yeah. is this you, the sex symbol now? Yeah. Hey, Beach, dressed like the Pope. <laughs> wow. She's crazy. Cardinal. Cardinal. Cardinal Beetlejuice. Beetle, are you in there? Who are you? I'm trying to start. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hard to talk through that mask? Me? No. Yeah. You always come up with the best stuff. He talks about anything. You look great, man. This is a whole new you. This is Beat Thank the you. Business Thank Man. You. Yeah. yeah what, Thank you. You, what is the suit and the nice shirt? Where did you get these clothes? Where did you get them? Oh, I bought them. I bought them. You bought them. Yeah. And uh, you are here to announce that you would like to be the head of security here at Sirius? <laughs> Cool be, yeah. yeah. Why? You don't think Ronnie the limo driver knows what he's doing? Ronnie's a piece of garbage. What happened between you? You've been having, you've been having fights with some people here, especially Ronnie. What happened with you and Ronnie? Uh, Ronnie is just like a piece of shit. You don't need him. He brags about stuff. Someone told me when they did the pre-interview, you claim you now have hit $1 million in your bank account. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Beagle yeah. is a millionaire? Yep. Yeah, I hit about $4 million, honey. Four? Four. Right. Four million dollars. You want to go out? <laughs> yeah, I'll take you out. And the beautiful thing about Beetle, he hasn't changed over the years. The same guy who walked into my studio originally is the same guy you get on the air to this day. I love you. I think you're a great guy. Mm -hmm. You've always contributed to the show. Right. And I want to thank you for that. Right. And I want to thank you for taking care of yourself, and I wish you a hundred more years of life. Oh, I truly yeah. do. I'm, I'm going to keep on doing it. My life is already up, but I'm still living. And, I'm, and I've known you for 50 years or something like right. this, and I hope I know you for 50 more. B, I wish you the best. I truly do. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm always there for you. If you need anything, you mm. know I'm here. Never has such a man cast such a wide shadow over this show as Beetlejuice. The legend.
<laughs> David Spade is a big fan of yours. This is yeah, David Spade. Yeah, David. What's up, buddy? He's a big fan of yours. Yeah, he is. He wanted to meet you. <laughs> All you criminals out there, beware. When you see, see all us the coming, out there. we see us coming, run for the hill. Run for your life. Because me and Bill are just going to keep the streets right. Yeah, keep the street clean, brother. Thank you, B. You're the best. Thanks for all the years of entertainment. And uh, we love you on this show. I love you. I love you, Harris, sir. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice.